Okay, so I've been figuring out how I'm going to take care of this middle section here. Um, and I think the plan is to basically put these two like light gray blocks that go over the top and the bottom here. And then uh, just like a white stripe-ish thing down the middle. Um, at least that's a plan for now. I already started designing one of these gray blocks here. The reason it's a little bit more complicated than just making like a big block of bricks is because it's at uh, an angle and um, I figured I have the time to make it a really clean angle. Uh, so I did some really, really weird, dumb stuff to make this angle super clean here. I built it out of cheese graters and to make sure that one perfectly goes right into the next one, I have to offset every other one by half a plate. And to do that, you need to use uh, brackets, of course. And when you're doing that, it gets really complicated. Um, so I'm not exactly gonna break down everything I did. I'll just sort of disassemble it a little bit. Hopefully you really get the idea that Lego math is really important because I didn't have to actually experiment a lot here. I just had to do a little bit of math in my head to figure out what pieces have to go where and then just had to kind of connect the dots, I suppose. So yeah, this is mostly complete. It just has a hinge for an attachment to the main body. Um, I'm eventually gonna have to build three more of these, but I think I'm gonna wait uh, and just get some more designing done. Um, down here on the bottom, I don't know exactly what these are gonna be. There's another little piece that I designed that's gonna go on these inverted dishes. I don't know what these are supposed to be, maybe like uh, extra thrusters or something for liftoff or, I don't know, more guns or whatever. Uh, so those will go right there, they're kind of angled down just a little bit. Um, I have no idea what angle these trees graders are. If someone knows, leave them down in the comment. Um, and then up on top, there's going to be something different. So this is the first level of like any asymmetry that's in this ship. So far the ship is symmetrical down the middle and then symmetrical from uh, top to bottom. Um, but up on the top ones there's going to be these uh, missile pod things here. Yeah, I, I just came up with this quick design here based off of this other ship that someone already finished for their September. They used these um, castle angle panels um, for their thrusters which look really good. Um, so I'm just gonna steal that because I had a whole bunch of those panels that I wanted to use. Maybe it would be better if these missile pods weren't hexagons or whatever because kind of the rest of the ship is all in fours if you haven't noticed. Um, but whatever, I don't, no one, <laughs> no one cares. Uh, so yeah, let's get back to building. Alright, little quick update here. I designed these like boxes kind of things to go on the side here instead of building like a whole white panel. I think they work okay at like their main purpose of basically just like taking up space and adding some color to the ship. I'm not really sure what they might be. They might be like shipping containers or I don't know, really just greebles. If you're curious about the construction, it really just uses some brackets in there to make sure the tiles are lined up properly which is why I have all my brackets and different bricks with studs on the side sorted out because there's different use cases for all of them where you might want to have one of these and one of these. You don't want to go, you know, look for all of them, I guess.
right, so I finished all four of these like light gray block angled things. And I think I've already talked about these a little bit, the just structure and stuff that went into designing the first one. Um, but I only recently made the design for the mount. So I thought I would go over um, how exactly I went about doing that um, so that this like angle could be as flush as possible against the side of the ship. So to begin, whenever I'm trying to do something that's like really precise or whatever, um, I'll usually just try and make the attachment or whatever a little bit adjustable. Um, I guess I shouldn't say usually, but that's kind of like a good approach if you don't really have a way to like figure out the math to make it work perfectly, or it's just like not possible to do perfectly. Um, you can just make the attachment a little bit adjustable uh, so that you can just set it wherever it needs to be exactly. One problem that usually comes with that is that you'll have like a pretty flimsy, fragile connection. And I think I got over that pretty well um, in this case because the amount of adjustment I needed was literally like a millimeter. Yeah, here I'll try and show you exactly what I did. So I pretty much just used like these one by one plate with the clip on the side and then this brick with the bar um, going vertically. I also stacked up two clips on top of each other and then four all the way along the thing for maximum rigidity. Come to think of it, this could actually be a pretty cool way to do just like a slick stud reversal, but I guess that's a technique for another day. And then I just put this hinge brick right on top of there um, and then that gets attached by jumpers to the main body of the ship. Since the length of this like hypotenuse here is just a little bit longer um, than say like eight studs or whatever, which is uh, like the width of the block here, um, I had to add just like a tiny bit of height uh, to the top so that this lines up as good as possible. The connection is about as good as I can get it, um, or as good as I can like think of how to do it. If anybody has any good ideas, you can put them down in the comments. Um, but I think if it was going to be done any better, it would require like a total restructuring of that part of the ship. Um, and I didn't plan that far ahead, so that wouldn't have worked. But otherwise, these are pretty much done. I just have to build the little missile things that go in here. Um, I haven't decided if those look too tall or not. I don't really know what I'm going to do if I don't like them that much. I'll probably just end up leaving them because... Oh well. Um, but... These ones, these like thruster things, are done, so we can put those on there now. Well, I'm probably going to show these off like as much as I possibly can because I'm actually really happy with how they came out. I knew I was already like pretty happy with the um, overall angle that I was able to get here and how clean I think it turned out. But I think they're actually going to look pretty cool in the overall look of the ship. I think they fit about perfectly. Um, I wasn't sure about them before, but... The placement and like their overall weight on the ship looks pretty nice. I also really like the kind of X that these two make, you know, with the with the bottom ones and the top ones and stuff. I think it's pretty cool um, what's going on here. Uh, but the only thing I'm not really sure about right now, actually I'm not sure about two things. One is like how these missile pod things are going to look in here. I don't know if they're going to look like too long or something, so we'll have to try those out. The other thing I'm not really sure about is these. I think they look really cool up close, but from far away, when there's just two of them there, they kind of look like a mess. They look like a flower or something. So I don't know if I'm really feeling them. I don't really know what I want to replace them with. What I do really like is actually the look of these two circles down here. Um, I think that looks cool. So I'm going to try and base a design off of that, maybe. Um, but I don't think it really adds that much to the overall look of the ship. But um, 
I might be scrapping all of these, which kind of sucks because they took a little while to build, but whatever. So I just thought I would let you guys know that I actually made um, one minor change since the last video. Basically these top ones were too heavy and they were falling off and they were kind of delicate. Not too delicate the attachment, but more than I like. Um, so I actually ended up expanding this to a six wide thing so that I could have one more hinge on there and just, you know, six studs of attachment. And that actually had a few unintended side effects and it ended up basically making the attachment way stronger in a bunch of other ways. Um, that I don't, I don't know if I need to go to it. For example, like this, like hardly swivels at all anymore because of just one more hinge basically made it really hard to turn. And yeah, it's just like a really nice connection now. Pops on and Alright, so this white shield that goes on top is pretty much finished. I'm thinking it might be a little bit too plain, so I'm thinking about adding some white greebles because that's what Daniel did on his ship and I really like the look of the white greebles. But I'll check back in about that. Also, a bunch of these are like really gross and like miscolored and stuff. Maybe I'll clean them. I don't know, I'm not really gonna do that right now. Anyway, the way this is mounted is by one of my favorite techniques ever. This like jumper plate into the 2x2 two two round with the hole in it uh, just for a quick stud reversal and it works pretty well. This is like a super strong connection so I'll get that put on right now and we'll keep moving. I don't know if there's a simpler way to do this, but I had to do some pretty wild stuff to make this little thing here work. And it totally worked out, which is nice. I would definitely recommend buying headlight bricks if you get the chance. I bought an entire pick a brick cup of them when I found them. Even though they were in green, it doesn't really matter because a lot of the use cases, you don't really see the color. Okay, so I'm gonna end off this video now. I was planning on actually finishing the ship before the end of the video, but that's not gonna happen anymore. The only thing left is a bunch of greebles. Pretty much all the dark gray area needs to be greebled. Um, maybe I'll live stream it, maybe I won't. I haven't really liked live streams in the past, but maybe I'll give it another try, I don't really know. But otherwise, probably the next video is going to be the complete showcase of this video. Um, and then I also wanna make a video um, about photographing your mock um, and getting the best possible images to post about your mock because I think presentation is incredibly important when posting your mock so um, I think that'll be a valuable video to make. Maybe in that video I'll go over the final touches at the end or something just so it's out there but uh, otherwise that's the plan. So I don't know, leave a like, leave a comment, all that junk if you have an opinion and I'll see you guys in another video at whatever time.